can run, but they don't want to do this too much. Again, second game in three days, plus cross-country travel. Williams buries the three as Talbot hit the deck. Desmond Thomas, who's made outstanding decisions with the basketball, leads the way for Connecticut with 11. Williams run off the line, her jumper is good. Surprise Bonner didn't take that. She was wide open, well within her range. Seven second difference, game and shot clock. Williams hits the jumper. And the lead is five for Connecticut. Here is Jones, one on one. She hits over Bonner, beautifully done. Taking the ball all the way to the hole, hitting threes, mid-range game. We're seeing it all. Williams, she got it. Connecticut does. But there's no part of the Phoenix Mercury right now anyway that looks fatigued. Good look inside as Williams finds Alyssa Thomas. 20 points at the line. No one has left more points at the line than Alyssa Thomas over the last three seasons. It's not even close. Williams hits the jumper. Courtney Williams has a nice bounce, 16 points. Evades the dig, then gets denied by Bonner. Williams snatches it away and banks it home. So you cannot leave either of those players. And so instead, you leave Griner to abuse down low. Williams. Oh, she's feeling it. Tige. It's been a struggle to figure out who to play through down the stretch of close and late games for Connecticut. Jones flings it out. Williams heaves it. And got it. Plus the foul. You can play through her. That's not the right shot at the right time. Entered into the starting lineup late in this year and has struggled a bit so far tonight, even though she's been a real asset. Williams got another. She's cooking. And no one's had an answer. Timeout Phoenix. Running through Courtney Williams. Here's Alyssa Thomas. Into the lane, Thomas gets position and floats it in. We're tied again. It's their ticket to the semifinals. 96-86 the final. And for the second straight year, the Mercury and their veteran experience end the sun year right here in Connecticut.